Hello everyone and welcome to an Altrady instruction video. Trading manually can be very time consuming and not everyone is able to spend this time. With the Altrady trading platform it's now possible to use a signal bot that will automatically start trades for you based on a signal. In this video I will explain how to configure your first signal bot and explain what all the fields mean and how to use them. In order to receive updates about new instruction videos, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the notification icon. So let's get started with the bot setup. When you open the Altrady trading platform, you can find the bot page here. As you can see, I currently don't have any bots configured, so I click on create bot. First you can give the bot a name. Now you can select if you want the bot to start based on a signal provider in Altrady or if you want to receive signals from an external provider by using a webhook. You can use this for TradingView signals for example. If you select the webhook option, you will get an API key and a secret. You will need to copy this key and secret for a later use. The secret will only be visible once and after your bot is created, the secret is hidden. But don't worry, if you lose the secret, you can click this button to generate a new key and secret. If you select the signal provider, you will see a selection box of the available signal providers. In this case, we will select the crypto base scanner signal provider. Next up is the exchange. If you have multiple accounts configured for the exchange, you can select which one to use. Then you select the quote currency to use for the bot. This means the bot will only accept signals for the selected quote signal. If you want to subscribe for more accounts, you will have to create a bot for each account. If you want to subscribe for more quote currencies, you will have to create a bot for each quote currency. So if you have two accounts and you want Bitcoin and USDT signals, you will have to create four bots. In the filter section, you will get to add some filters for the signals. Every signal provider can specify some filters. In the case of crypto base scanner signals, you can filter on the algorithm and success rate. You can select which algorithm you like to listen for and you can select one or more algorithms. Then you can specify the success rate anywhere from between 0 to 100. You can check the crypto base scanner statistics to select an algorithm and success rate that you prefer. In order to limit the bot in the amount of positions it can take, you can configure the max concurrent positions. If you set this to 4, the bot will not open a new position if you already have 4 open positions. You can also limit the number of positions per market. The bot will not open a new position if you have a running position in the same market. For the crypto base scanner signals, we would recommend to only accept one signal per market. You can filter signals by volume of the market. Setting the volume filter is important and depends on your size of the position. If you're unsure what to fill in, you can use 100 times your order size. So if you trade with $1,000, set the minimum volume to 100,000. You may want to filter coins that have a very low or high price. And you can set the minimum and maximum price. If you only want to subscribe to certain markets, you can add a whitelist. You can select a specific market like so, or you can use a star to act as a wildcard. You can also blacklist markets. The bot will ignore signals that match the filter. If you want to add multiple markets, you can separate them with the comma. Now that you have your filters set up, you can specify your entry settings. You can use a percentage of your total balance, or you can use a fixed amount. The percentage function will reinvest your profits, so if you have profits, the next position will use a higher entry size. The fixed amount will not reinvest your profits and always use the same amount. Make sure that your initial order size meets the requirements of the exchange. You can see what the estimate value of the order is here. For most exchanges you need an order with at least $15. To make sure you have a higher chance of buying a signal, you can set the entry price deviation. This will add a small percentage to the price in up or down direction. Use a positive number for up direction to increase the buy chance and increase the accepted positions. 
use a negative number for the down direction to wait a bit longer to accept the signal. This will result in fewer positions open. Now you can specify if you want to have an entry expiration time. If the signal comes in, but you cannot buy immediately due to low liquidity in the order book, you may want to cancel after a certain amount of time. Make sure you give the signal enough time to fill, but not too long so that your signal becomes useless. 15 minutes is usually a healthy choice for the crypto base scanner signals. For signal providers that buy on the way down, like the crypto base scanner, a good strategy is to use dollar cost averaging. This will buy multiple times as the price keeps getting lower. For DCA type, you can choose to accept the signal's DCA, or use custom DCA. The crypto base scanner does not include DCA, so you have to use the custom. For target price, you can set the percentage offset from the first order, and you can set the target quantity. The target quantity is a percentage of the first order. So if you configure $100 on the entry order and use 100 quantity, you will use another $100 for this order. If you use 200 quantity, you will use $200 for this order. Down here you can see the estimate of the order size used for the order. And for the total position, if all your DCA orders have filled. You can specify up to 9 DCA targets. Now that you have your entry orders configured, it's time to deal with the exit orders. Take profit orders will be used to sell amounts you bought on the entry side. Take profit orders will use all the coins you bought during the entry. Every time a new entry order is filled, the take profit orders will be adjusted. So you have the option to use custom or signal provider take profit levels. The crypto base scanner comes with two take profit options, half the median drop and the median drop percentage. Every market will have a statistic about the median drop. So if a market usually drops 5% before it returns to base, the take profits will be set to 2.5% and 5%. You can choose to accept one or more take profit levels. If you use one, it will sell all your coins on that level. If you select multiple, it will sell all your coins divided equally over those targets. If you want to use your own preferred percentage for take profit, you can click on custom. You will have the option to specify if you want to sell all your coins, or if you only want to sell a percentage of your total coins to keep the rest as free coins. For example, if you have a take profit of 5% and you sell 95%, you will recover your investment and keep the rest as free coins to sell at a later date. For each take profit target, you can specify the percentage and the volume. So if you want to sell 75% on the first order, and 25% on the second order, you can specify it like so. If you have a low order sizes entry, like the $15, you will not be able to use multiple take profit orders, as each order needs to qualify the minimum size. If you don't want to end up with the positions that take too much loss, you can specify to use stop loss. You have the option to use a custom stop loss, or use the stop loss from the signal provider. The crypto base scanner will add a stop loss at 4 times the median drop price. The stop loss is an offset from the first entry order. Make sure the stop loss is higher than your last DCA order. So if you have a DCA at 10%, your stop loss should be higher than that 10%. The stop loss will sell at a market order. You can also automatically close your position after a certain time. This will ensure positions don't run too long. A healthy value will be different for each signal provider. We personally don't use it for the crypto base scanner, as we want to give the signals a lot of time to return. And that's how you configure your first bot. If you want to quickly set up another bot for different account or currency, but with similar settings, you can just click on duplicate bot. If you want to delete the bot, you can click here. Now you can save the bot and wait for signals. Depending on the signal provider, it can take anywhere from minutes to days before you receive your first signal. But the big benefit of a trading bot is that you can do other things while the bot patiently waits for the signals. When your first signal comes in, it will be displayed here. You can see your running positions up here, and the recently closed down here. If you want the total overview, you can click the position tab. This shows a similar list, but with everything combined.
In the error log you will find positions that didn't open because of unmatched filters or other errors. You can use this information in the log to adjust your filters where required. Please report any errors that are not related to the filters, so we can address them as quickly as possible. So now that you've received your first signals and a position is opened, you can use the trading terminal to manage the position. You can see the position added to your positions widget, and if you need to, you can edit the position to make the changes to DCA and take profit orders, just like you can with the manual smart trading setup. Thank you for watching this video, and we hope your trading will be profitable. Please join us on Discord to share your results, and we hope to see you on the next video.